Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you a simple but powerful concept to keep your PC clean. If you are not aware yet, running more than one antivirus software in one operating system is not a good idea, as it leads into a variety of problems. But what if I can show you how to run those scanning engines without interfering with each other? It is going to be possible with the help of technology which is called virtualization. I am going to be using Windows 10 with paid version of Bitdefender as mine protection engine for this project. For you it can be any other reliable software, it does not really matter. What matters more is that you have one running. Now let's prepare everything what we need. Just follow my Google searches and download as we go. In this case I have decided to go for older version of VirtualBox just to avoid potential compatibility issues. If you feel like you are an experienced user, go for the latest version, you should be able to make it work. Don't forget to download VirtualBox extension pack, as it provides support for USB to be passed through to the virtual environment. It is going to be extremely useful when you will be scanning potentially infected flash drives, with the mentioning fact that virtual machines can be snapshotted and rolled back if anything bad happens to them. For now follow my video guide and proceed with the next download. The 30 days trial license of Asset Internet Security will give you enough time and additional layer of protection. It is worth to say that Komodo is providing free internet security protection software. That's why I picked it for this project. If you feel like something else is more convenient for you, feel free to go for it. Now I am going to show you how to quickly obtain pre-made virtual machines with Windows operating systems. Those machines are purpose for development testing and their disadvantage is 90 days expiration. Of course it is better to install full Windows license without restrictions, but this is way faster. If you feel like you want it right away instead of 90 days virtual machines, I am going to place link in the description how to do that. Once your files are downloaded, you can extract virtual machines and start with the VirtualBox installation. Importing extension pack into the VirtualBox is really easy, just double click it. Because I have done this before, program is giving me upgrade option. You will see confirmation for adding it. I would recommend to quickly check settings and pick up drive with the enough space available. Now we can start importing our pre-made virtual machines. Navigate to the folder where you have extracted them. You don't need to change anything here, we are going to look into greater detail soon enough. Now I am adding our second downloaded virtual machine. After importing process, let's dive deeper into the settings. This one is pretty obvious, I would like to have shared clipboard with my host operating system. 
If your hardware specification is sufficient, you can assign more resources to Virtual Machine on this tab. As you can see, I am giving it one more core to run it faster. Enable EO APIC is also recommended to be ticked. Also pay attention to notifications down below. If settings are wrong from the start, it is better to correct them. I am going to assign maximum video memory, just because I want it to run smooth and fast. In storage tab, if you don't see optical drive, I would recommend to add it, just because it can be useful later. In networking tab, I prefer bridged adapter setting. This means virtual machine will act as it is connected directly to the local network, which will make communication easier. In USB tab, I am going for a USB 2.0 just to avoid compatibility issues. Our most important part for this concept to work is in the shared folders tab. Add all your hard drive units with the letters in similar fashion as I am showing you. Don't forget to tick out a month. When you are done, you can apply same settings on another virtual machine. Ok, now we are ready to launch, so let's try it. If you will be experiencing issues like this when guest operating system is unable to grab a mouse cursor, don't worry. This is happening because guest additions are missing or need an update. And this is one of the reasons why we was adding optical drive. To solve this issue, click devices and then insert guest additions to the image. After that, use your keyboard and navigate yourself to start menu, then this computer. From here, you will be able to start guest addition installation with simply pressing enter. Confirm with yes, then next, next, install. Reboot the virtual machine and you should be able to use mouse within guest operating system without problems. Without wasting a second, let's get straight to the installation of our first antivirus software. As you can see, all drives from your host are now appearing as network drives. This is exactly what we want. So let's pick up installation file right where we left it and navigate to your download folder under your username account. To make things easier, I'm going to create a shortcut right away. Then simply continue with the antivirus software installation. I am getting outdated operating system message because I have not updated yet. That's ok, for now, I'll do it later. To activate Smart Security 30 days trial license, you need to do this extra step, or you can use Google and your imagination. Do you feel safer yet? From now, you are ready to use additional antivirus scanning engine. All you need to wait for is antivirus definition update. And now I am going to show you how to use it.
That's right, it is simple as selecting your network drives. Right click with the mouse, then pick scan with the asset internet security. Let's quickly take a look on our second virtual machine, where we will be doing similar thing. The only thing which differs here is alternative antivirus software installation. Just like before, I would recommend to check guest additions. Install it or update it if it is needed. After that, navigate to your download folder through the guest operating system. And start the installation of Komodo Internet Security. First things first, run the update. From now on your second scanning engine is ready. Scanning your system is simple as before, just pick up scanning option from the context menu. And of course you can go even further than that and prepare more virtual machines with the more scanning alternatives. The only limitation in this case is going to be your hardware specification. Now I'm just creating shortcut for the download folder, as all new files usually ending up here and I can directly scan them from the guest desktop. One last thing to show you is how easy it is to scan your host hard drives. Just like you saw already, select network drives, right click, scan. To demonstrate how powerful this concept is, I have prepared some shady files from internet. It is dangerous thing to do, but I am going to format and reinstall my system after this. As you will be able to see, antivirus engines are not always 100% accurate, but combined together like this, they can achieve pretty high accuracy. Each of them found thread in different files and two of them agreed on one file. For experienced users, this concept also can help with the decision making when it comes to the false positives. With that said, I hope you will find this video helpful, enjoy the scanning results and have a great day! Of course it happened. I think I think this is a reflection of how like